Hey, I just wanted to make a video and show you guys how to overclock your uh, i7 processor. Um, I'm using the i7-920 on an ASUS P6T version 2 Deluxe. I've used these same settings on a Sabertooth and it's also worked. I'm sure you can probably use it on the other ASUS motherboards uh, as well. But uh, you might want to check in on that. I have manual for AI overclock tuner. CPU ratio is at 20. Intel speed tech is enabled. Uh, speed step that is. Uh, bulk frequency is 190. PCI Express is 100. I didn't touch that at all, I don't think. Uh, 1523 on my 1600 megahertz RAM. That adds stability. Uh, I have that at 3047. And I have that at 6857 MT slash S. And that's the QPI link. And on top of that, we have the CPU voltage. I'll get that closer. At 131250. And then. I'll just go down through the list and you guys can just kind of look at them. I'll just go slow. But uh, everything here has been rock solid for me. I haven't had any issues. It's been running real good. I know it's a little high in the voltage, but if you look at the voltage, if you set it to auto and you overclocked it to the setting, you're up at 1.45. That's a lot. So I'm down to 1.3 almost flat, which is way better than 1.45. It drops it way down on the temperature. And down here, as you can see, I have everything set on auto for DRAM. I have, uh, let me go back up here. This I stopped down here. I didn't touch my RAM because I have that down clock, so default voltage is just fine on that. I also have all this uh, up here. But as you can see, this is all the settings. I just wanted to make a quick update for anybody wanting to overclock but not knowing how to. Uh, like I said, make sure you're using an aftermarket cooler or you're probably going to wreck your stuff. But this is perfectly safe. I run this at about 75 Celsius at load and about 40 to 38 C, somewhere in that area, idle. Uh, it seems to be pretty solid. I haven't ever crashed. It runs good. I ran Intel burn test, Prime 95. Everything seems to be good. After that, you just go over there. You hit exit and save changes, and you should be good to go. So thanks for viewing. Hey, thanks for viewing this video. If you like it, uh, go ahead and thumbs up it below and subscribe above. Thank you.